find the centroid of this triangular plate and we will use the approach of using a vertical strip. So I will do my integration using a differential of area in this form where this is y and this is dx. Since we are given the height and the base of this triangle, let's find this line, the slope will be a negative slope, that y over x, that will give me negative 2, right? So I know that this is negative 2x, and it cuts intersect with y at 8. So that's the line that describes that triangle. So if we want to calculate the area, we already know that the area is base times height divided by 2. But let's do it by integrals. Well, so we know that it's base times height divided by 2. But by integrals, we have that area is the integral differential of the area. But since I am integrating this strip, my differential of area becomes y dx. So a double integral can be expressed as a linear integral as y dx. And then the limits of integration will be in the variable that I'm integrating, which is 0 to 4. And y is this expression right here. So my area will be from 0 to 4 meters in this case. y is negative 2x plus a dx. And then if I integrate that, give me negative 2x squared over 2 plus 8x, all that evaluated from 0 to 4 meters, right? So, and if I evaluate that, I get that this is 4 squared plus 8, 8 4, and that give me equals to 16 meters squared. Now that I have the area, the definition of centroid, you know that is the centroid of that differential of area, the area divided by the total area. And I already said that I'm going to write the differential of area like that. And my limits of integration will be from 0 to 4 divided by 16. Let's put the the correct unit. So here I will have the integral. I have to substitute my variables in terms of all the variable of integration. So I will substitute my y that I have here. I will plug it into here. So I will have x and this is negative 2x plus 8 dx divided by 16. And then this is in meters and then x will be equals to the integral for 4 to 4. I'm just going to make sure that I do it carefully so I don't make any mistakes. 8x dx divided by 16. Now we can integrate this polynomial, which is very easy to integrate. So cube over 3 plus 8x squared over 2. And all that is pre-multiplied by 1 over 16. And that is evaluated between 0 and 4 meters. When I evaluate that, I get that this is 1 over 16. This is negative 2 over 3, 4 to cube, plus 4, 4 square. OK, so if you evaluate all that, that the centroid in x is equal to 4 over 3 meters, which is one third of that triangle, which is the in the heavy size. So we already knew this result, but it's very important to know how to calculate it. So in the case of y, centroid for the y direction will be by definition, this one right here, and I do the same. This area is distributed along my 
uh, stripped. So it's very important to understand that I have to use the centroid of the, of the strip, which is Y half, because this is the centroid of the strip. In the case of X, since all the area is at the same distance X, I didn't have to divide it by two, but in this case, the centroid of this vertical strip is y half. Therefore, I have to write y half, and my differential of area is the same, which is y dx. And my limit of integration will be zero to four, and the total area we know already that is 16. So that gives me, I can take this half out of the integral and give me one over 32, the integral of zero to four meters, and this is y squared dx. And y squared, we have to square this polynomial right here, so that gives me one over 32, the integral of four, from zero to four meters of negative two x plus eight square dx. And then let's, let's square that binomial, right? And that gives me two x square negative two times two x plus eight plus 64. And I have to integrate still that from zero to four d x. So that will give me 1 over 32, and here I have 4, 4 x cubed over 3. I have 4 times 8 is 32, x squared over 2 plus 64 x. And all that evaluated between 0 and 4 meters. Well, you can evaluate all that. Y will be equals to eight over three meters. And again, we get that my centroid of my figure, let me draw that over here. My centroid will be located at one third of four, which is my base, and this over here will be located at one third of eight. Being eight, my height, and being four, my base of my triangle. And this is the centroid that we were looking for.